Using e-drums for rock band drums is better than using the overpriced equipment that rock band sells. Rock band drums, either designed by Mad Cats or PDP, are easily breakable and do not provide enough ease to play songs as intended for pro mode. I have personally gone through about three of the sets that Rock Band has sold, and have had to repair and replace many of the pads that come from other kits that I find at a Goodwill. Spending a little extra money on an affordable e-kit works with many benefits. You get to play Rock Band Pro Mode with much more ease, and alternatively, you can use the e-drums to learn how to play real drums. So let me go and break down to you what exactly you're going to need. You're first going to want to pick up a Rock Band 3 Pro MIDI adapter. It's $19.99 for Xbox 360, $39.65 for PlayStation, and well, there's no Rock Band 4 for Nintendo, but you can buy it for the Wii for $23.47. This adapter will make a MIDI out connection from either a keyboard, Rock Band's guitar, and an e-drum kit. Of course, for Rock Band 4, you're only going to be able to use the drum mode on this module. It will allow you to control and navigate the menu around the console, help manage sensitivity of the e-kit to reduce crosstalk. This is a wired connection and does not come with a MIDI cable, so you're going to need that as well. Mine is very sticky with some kind of residue on it and I have no idea why, but I'm just going to deal with it because I'm afraid I might damage it while cleaning it. So the MIDI cable you can buy pretty cheap on Amazon for $5.45 for 5 feet. You don't need it to be too long as you'll only be connecting the MIDI adapter to the electronic drum set and then to your legacy adapter for the Xbox One. So let's talk about this PDP Legacy Adapter. This adapter is only for players that play on the Xbox One. This takes the USB and adapts it to become recognizable for the next gen console. If you're playing on PS4, this is not necessary. You should be able to just plug in the MIDI Pro adapter into the console and start playing. This is needed because Xbox is not backwards compatible at all. PDP no longer sells this adapter, which was about $25, so you'll now have to scavenge around the net and purchase for some unreasonable prices, like upwards to around $100. I made sure to buy mine before it would come down to that. So connecting this all together is really simple. Just plug the MIDI cable from your drum's MIDI output port from the module into the MIDI Pro adapter, and then from the MIDI Pro adapter into the wired legacy adapter, and lastly from there you'll just plug that into a USB port on the console. Once again, if you have a PS4, the legacy adapter is not necessary. Once that's set up, you're almost ready to go. You need to make sure that all the cymbals and pads on the drum set are set up correctly and connected to the drum sets. The drum set should automatically transfer over exactly the same way as a regular Rock Band drum set would. If it doesn't, then you're going to need to do some configuring. I am going to demonstrate how this works on two different drum sets. The first is a Roland TD-10. Roland is definitely a beast when it comes to electric drum sets. They make some of the most high quality drum sets that are meant to sound and feel like you're playing a real drum set. This module that I have is their older models and is no longer sold. In fact, I am borrowing this set just for this video to give you an example of how using a high quality set can affect your gameplay than with a budget friendly set. Roland's CD series can run up to over $1000, so if you're really serious about playing e-drums, then Roland would be the way to go. The TD-10 does offer a MIDI out, which is exactly what I need to connect it to the adapter. Now only a little bit of configuring is needed to set up this drum set. One of the first things I turned off was the click on the snare's rim. This will definitely mess you up on the game if you don't turn this thing off first, as it'll count your hits sometimes as double if you're not careful. You'll notice that I have four symbols. I got my hi-hat, crash, medium crash, and ride. Now, the game in pro mode only supports three different symbols. So one thing I did was use a quarter inch splitter to tie together both the hi-hat and crash together. This would sometimes work, but because the splitter was connected to two different symbols, you can bet that there would be some crosstalk that may accidentally trigger or register your hits as double if you weren't careful about how hard you were hitting it. All around, this drum set is perfect if you're trying to score full combos and will definitely get you to the top of the leaderboards. However, there are some major drawbacks when going with this option. Other than spending thousands of dollars on the drum set you may use just for Rock Band, the set itself is very big, heavy, and can take a while to set up when all you want to do is game. This is why I went with the current drum set that I'm using now, which is the Alesis Nitro Kit. It's currently on sale on Amazon for $300. I'll post a link in the description if you'd like to purchase. But it is one that I highly recommend you buy just for Rock Band Pro Drumming. There is much that can be said about this set, it's budget friendly, it comes with everything you need and included drum brain such as inputs for your iPod, extensions to the kit itself, and of course that handy MIDI out connection that makes it work for Rock Band 4. 
Now the drums itself doesn't feel very durable. In fact, some of the parts, like the ones that sit on the other side of the cymbals, are made of plastic and are very breakable if you're rocking out too hard. Also, the rubber pads do make you feel a little restrained while playing because they don't give you that rebound a real set or roll-in set would. But other than a few of those drawbacks, this is the perfect set to use if you're really serious about getting into rock band. It's also very small and light, which makes it easier to transport and set up easily. This was also the cheapest drum set I found that comes with a beater pad, which will put your feet to work as you'll be able to use an actual kick pedal like the Pearl Double Bass that I'm using for this kit. I would recommend to not use the hi-hat cymbal control with this kit as it does register as a second pedal that you won't need and can throw you off if you use it accidentally. Also, be sure that you set up this drum set correctly as there is a designated snare pad that comes equipped with two zones for those clicks. The drum set settings can't really be messed with a lot, so being able to do things like disabling the quick will not be possible. However, you can set it to trigger less likely. This is one that I'm using and I think it's perfect for what it needs to be used for. I've been using it for a couple of months now and I'm very happy with this purchase. Rock Band Pro Drums should be the only way you should play drums on Rock Band as it forces you to play the song almost exactly as it is meant to be played. This does come with a bit of a learning curve, especially if you're only used to playing with the four pads that came with the regular Rock Band kits or never played with a real set, but it is definitely worth perfecting. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions regarding this setup and how it works. I'll see you guys in the next one.